Hey guys, it's Jet here from Disrupt Tutoring and as always, it's such a pleasure to join you. Today we're going to deal with the following question. In triangle ABC, AD is perpendicular to BC. Okay, so AD is perpendicular to BC and we can see that they've already inserted that for us showing the right angle triangle. Then BC is equal to 24 centimeters, so BC at the base here is equal to 24 centimeters so I'm going to write a little line there and just indicate that that is 24 centimeters and then they say to us that AD which is that line over there is equivalent to 10 centimeters so I'll write a little mark next to that as well now we're moving into the first question they've said to us calculate the area of triangle ABC so we're looking at this triangle over here and they're asking us to calculate the area. Now, what you need to remember is you need to know the formula for area of a triangle off by heart. And the area of a triangle is equal to half base times height. Now, what does this base mean? The base is the base of the triangle. All right, so this line BC. And the height of the triangle is referred to as the perpendicular height. So we know that that is our base, which is the line that is perpendicular that touches the top of the triangle. It would be this line over here. So we're pretty much set up to finish this one off. So we know that half base times height. So we can look and see what our base is. Our base is the 24 centimeters provided. So we can just plug that in. So 24 centimeters over there. And then our height is this AD, which is also provided. And that is 10. Now, nice and easy, without picking up a calculator, what would our answer be? Well, we know that the half times 24 is simply 12, and 12 times 10 would give us 120. Okay, why would we not get the answer if we wrote our answer like that? The reason being, we need to show our units, and we also need to show that it is in two dimensions. So, we need to square the centimeters. Moving on to the next bit, which is... How many times will the area of triangle ABC in 12.3 be enlarged if BC equals 48 centimeters and AD equals 20 centimeters? So let's first understand what we've done. If we look at BC, we see that the new centimeters that they've given us is 48. And what is different between 24 and 48? We can see that we have doubled. We have doubled 24 to get to 48. If we look at 20 centimeters for AD, what have we done to AD over there? Again, we have doubled it. So now let's see what um, the ultimate area would be if we have these new figures. So we're going to say, right, area of the um, enlarged triangle is going to be equal to, again, we can write our half base times height. We can then put in our base, which is going to be the 48 centimeters that they've given us. The height is now the 20 centimeters. And again, without using a calculator, let's have a look at what that answer is. 48 halved is 24. And then we multiply that by 20, which would give us 480. So that would give us 480. And again, that is going to be centimeters squared. But now that is not the answer because they've asked us to how many times, tell us how many times the area of triangle ABC will be enlarged. So how would we do that? I'm going to write the answer up in this little space over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the area of the new triangle over the area of the old triangle. And I'm going to see what that ratio is. And we can see that the area of the new triangle is going to be four times the size of the old triangle. So that would mean we have times the original triangle by four times uh, to get the area of the new triangle. And that is the answer they would be looking for for that particular question. That's all from me, guys. Hope this helped you. This will definitely come up in your tests and exams. So hopefully you understand it. Remember, you can rewind, rewatch, pause. Um, and just really try and understand the process that's being used. Before I go, I'd like to say a special thank you to our sponsors for making this video possible. Find out more about them in the description below. 
And then also remember, you can check out our website for more of these epic tutorial videos. And if we haven't answered your question yet, remember you can send it to us and we will send you a personalized video. Until the next time, guys, stay epic.